Here we have verse 34 of the 14th chapter of the Gospel of Matthew. We've reached the end of the story that Matthew 12 tells of Jesus walking on the water, and uh, now he picks up the narrative as they arrive in the region of Gennesaret. Uh, here in verse 34, Kai, the connective dia parasantes. This is from dia parao. Uh, dia means through, para uh, is from perone, uh, which means the other side, uh, something like that. It's a noun. The dia means passing through to the other side, notion. So uh, having passed through to the other side, this is an aorist, active participle, masculine, singular, or plural, uh, nominative, referring to Jesus and all of the disciples as well, so the plural in the nominative. So having passed through, then aelthon, this is going to be third person plural, aorist active indicative of erkamai, I come or I go, so they came. Uh, epi, preposition, here with the accusative, tain, gain, upon or to the land, gain, of course, uh, from uh, gay means uh, uh, the earth, the land, that idea, uh, not the earth in the terms of a globe, but the earth in terms of the good earth, uh, the soil sometimes, the field, or in this case, the shore. Uh, so they came upon or to the <coughs> land. Ace into, uh, with the uh, accusative here, Gennesaret, for Gennesaret. This is a region on the northwest uh, side of the uh, Sea of Galilee, uh, and it uh, was connected to some degree with the Gentile, or at least a mixed population, and that, of course, sets up the uh, ensuing uh, story that uh, Matthew's about to tell us.